Welcome to Storyteller TV. Classic children's stories from around the world. David and Goliath David was the youngest of Jesse's eight sons. While three of his brothers were away fighting in King Saul's army, David stayed at home looking after his father's sheep. Sometimes, hungry lions and bears attacked the sheep at night. But David never ran away. If a lamb was carried off, he went after it, whirling his leather sling over his head and hurling stones at the wild beast. Many times, he killed bears three times bigger than himself. One day, Jesse sent David to the camp of the king's army with presents of food for his three sons. When he arrived, he saw the Israelite and Philistine armies facing each other, ready for battle. But the Philistines were not intending to do battle. Out of their ranks came the giant Goliath, twice as tall as a normal man. He wore armor so heavy that no ordinary man could even stand up under its weight. His spear was as thick as a roof beam, his bronze sword as long as an oar. Goliath strutted up and down in front of the Philistine ranks and shouted a challenge at the Israelites. Send out one man to fight me! If I win, you Israelites will be our slaves. If I'm beaten, the Philistines will be your slaves. Three times Goliath repeated his challenge. You cowards, he boomed. Won't anybody fight me? You deserve to be slaves. Inside his silken tent, Saul, king of the Israelites, grew very angry. Won't anyone in our army fight this giant? He shouted. I'll reward him with more money than he ever dreamt of. I'll make him commander of the army. I'll even let him marry my daughter. Outside the tent, David looked up and down the ranks of Israelite soldiers and said to his oldest brother, He doesn't scare me. I will fight him. But his brothers only laughed and turned their backs on David, saying, Go home to your sheep, boy. But the king's messenger heard what David had said and went to tell the king, There is one person in the camp who's not afraid to fight Goliath. Who? Bring him to me, cried Saul. When Saul saw David, his heart sank. How can a boy possibly fight a trained soldier like Goliath? Why, he's three times bigger than you. He'd cut you to pieces. I don't think so, said David quietly. I've killed bears bigger than him with my sling. And besides, God will look after the Israelites. He always has before. I'm sure he'd help me win. Hmm. Then take my sword, said Saul. No, thank you, David replied. I need nothing but my sling. So David went to fight Goliath, dressed just as he was in his simple shepherd's clothes. On his way to fight, he crossed a little stream. Stooping down, he carefully chose five round pebbles. In the distance, he could see Goliath waiting, the sun flashing on his bronze armor. The ground shook as Goliath stamped his foot. For the last time, he shouted, send out a man to fight me. I'll fight you, called David. But the giant did not hear his small voice. I'll fight you, Goliath. You? You? You're only a boy. And the giant swung his sword furiously over his head. But David stood his ground and said, 
I will kill you, Goliath, and cut off your head. As Goliath bore down on him, David carefully placed a stone in his leather sling and whirled it round his head. Once, twice, three times he whirled the stone, then let it fly. At terrific speed, it struck Goliath right between the eyes. The giant halted, dropped his mighty sword, his legs crumpled, and he fell to the ground like a great tree. Silence fell over the Philistine army. Then, when they realized that Goliath was dead, they turned and ran. With the giant's own sword, David cut off Goliath's head. A chorus of cheers swept through the Israelite ranks, and David's brothers rushed forward to carry him shoulder high to the tent of King Saul. You have saved our people from slavery, he cried. From today, you are commander of my army, and you shall live at court with me. So David, the humble shepherd boy, stayed with King Saul, and as the years passed, he did marry the king's daughter, and eventually became king himself. <laughs>